Hello, Ultra Mega Classic Fantasy Football League. Welcome to your Week 12 recap. You are listening to Jimmy Eat World. You guys have one week left to go before we head into the playoffs. It has been a hell of a year. Alright, thank you Jimmy World for that. So, that's right, Fantasy Football, Ultra Mega Classic Fantasy Football League, welcome to your Week 12 recap. First off, let's just start off by saying congratulations to Powderpuff Pansies on winning his third GMC Never Say Never award. He beats Casey Moyaki Madness this week, 107 to 106, one point victory. And as I said, this is uh, this is uh, Powderpuff Pansy's third GMC Never Say Never award, so he is no stranger to close calls. Good job, Powderpuff Pansies. His high-scoring player this week was Beanie Wells, 29 points. Beanie Wells coming alive here in Week 12. Initiate Phase 3 beats Team King. Team King is our Awesome Possum Award winner. We saw it earlier this year. Uh, Team King gets beat this week 112-67. to I laid on the butt whooping on him. My high score, Matt Ryan, 26 points. Yes. Moving on. The Joker over Team Alcock, 127-119. to High score, Laurent Robinson. The Joker's waiver wire pickup from a couple weeks ago. Laurent Robinson scores 26 points for him this week. Boom! You gotta love those kind of waiver wire pickups. Next up, Kings Valley Longnecks pulls out a close win over Battle Killing Numb, 97-94. His high score, Victor Cruz. 36 points. Kings Valley Longnecks beats Battle Killing Numb with Jay Cutler out and still playing. And his Giants defense scoring negative 8 points. And he had Mario Manningham starting who scored 0 points. So with his starting quarterback out and Mario Manningham scoring no points and the New York Giants defense scoring less than 0 points with negative 8 points. Kings Valley Longnecks still pulls out a win over Battle Killing Numb. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And on top of that, Battle Killing Numb had five players out of nine scoring double digit points. Still loses. Sometimes you just can't buy a basket, man. And that's Battle Killing Numb in week 12. Anyway, his high score was Victor Cruz at 36 points. Uh, NYC Sexy Rexy over Team Dijani. 168 to 102. NY Sexy Rexy lays a butt whooping on Team Dijani at 168 points. I mean, that's. What are you going to say, man? That's just a butt whooping right there. It's unbelievable. High score Wes Welker, 31 points. Not the first time he has been his high scorer. Wes Welker has been. A constant high score on NYC Sex Rex's team, man. Wes Welker has just been phenomenal this year. I don't think anyone thought Wes Welker was going to play this good this year. Coming off of injuries, previous years, concussions, everything else. I just don't think anyone saw that coming. It's unbelievable. Um, next up, Deville Rockin' Bears over Twin City Crushers, 110-75. to Deville's Rockin' Bears high scorer... Brandon Lloyd, 18 points. Congratulations, Deville Rockin' Bears. You sit at 5 and 7. Okay, so let, let's move on here. Um, those are your scores for the week. Let's move on. Let's talk about the playoffs a little bit, guys. Um, 
First of all, let me just say, um, Ultra Division is clinched. Uh, the Joker has clinched the Ultra Division, so they, they have a playoff berth, um, and, and they've clinched that division. Okay, the Classic Division is clinched also. Uh, Powderpuff Pansies has clinched the Classic Division. So congratulations to those two, those two teams um, on clinching those divisions. The Mega Division has not been clinched yet. That could go either way. There's still a chance that could go... Uh, a couple different ways. Um, so let's wait till after next week and see how that shakes out. Right now it's NYC Sexy Rexy, and I'm pretty sure NYC Sexy Rexy is probably gonna win the win the uh, win the uh, Mega Division. Um, but you know, let's just see how that shakes out. It's not quite decided yet. Um, uh, also, uh, some wild cards. Uh, Team Alcock ha has clinched a wild card spot. No one's gonna be able to. Uh, catch up to his record. Team Dijani has clinched a wild card spot. No one's going to be able to catch up to his record. Um, what it boils down to, there is one wild card spot for the playoffs um, that is not is not clinched yet. So there's still an open spot there. Some of you teams out there with records of five and seven, um, there's still there's still a possibility you could make the playoffs. Uh, it all depends on week 13, folks. So there is still a, a spot that's undecided, and it just depends on how things go in this last week. Um, I just want to remind everybody the way we do it is um, the way we determine playoffs, uh, the three teams that win the division go to playoffs. After that, it's the three teams with the best record. And um, if some of those records are tied, it's the best record head-to-head. -head. Um, if some of those records head-to-head -head have been split, then it goes by points, total points for the year. So just so you guys know kind of how, how we do things in uh, the Ultra Mega Classic and, and how things are going to go down, um, I'll, I'll talk more about that next week uh, after the season's over. But again, one week left to go, guys. Great job. Oh, also, you fucking chumps. Okay, I don't put poll questions up there so nobody answers them, alright? So, answer those poll questions. I don't care how stupid you think they are, or how dumb you think it is, or how much you don't got time to do it. Do it. I don't put them up there for my health. Answer the poll questions. Three people answering a poll question is pathetic. It's terrible. Answer the poll questions. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in, Knuckleheads. I'll see you guys for the Week 13 recap. It has been an amazing fantasy football season. And happy holidays, guys. Peace.